Hello, welcome to the Don't Think This Is Fact podcast, where I talk about whatever the heck I want, and if you can defend it easily, you should click off now. But this time, you can ignore this warning, because I'm not going to talk about anything that the public would call anything considerably, like, cancelable. Is that in a real word? Because I'm just talking about my three-year anniversary here on YouTube, because I don't want to make multiple podcasts, and this is the only podcast I have. You know, the one I'm planning I'm going to have, other than maybe joining as a guest or, you know, co-hosting with someone else. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's my three-year anniversary on YouTube. I never thought I would get here with this low of success. Like, I know I'm a cocky person, usually, like, off-camera, but, like, I thought, you know, at this point I'd have, like, at least, like, a thousand not to complain about the fans I do have, but I definitely overestimated how hard it is to work up a career. But yeah, we're going to talk about my uh, career here on YouTube so far. As well as just like, you know, overall like things that have happened while I've been, you know, a YouTube content creator. So yeah, let's start with that. I do have one next to me so I can do talk about this as long as I need to. Because uh, I cannot talk, sh- like, straight on, like, five minutes at a time without, like, taking a break from talking and trying to keep a YouTuber voice up. So uh, I'm just going to make every once in a while to drink water. Yeah. Um, let's start off. The channel was created on, uh, July or June 31st of 2021, I think? I'm not checking right now. But it was created, I, I, no, in 2021, never mind, I got the year wrong. Either way, I I uploaded a video today as I'm making this titled, Welcome to my channel, I just, you know, did an introduction. In the same desk I'm in, I'm sitting at right now, except it was really different. Because now, my desk setup has a computer on it, and some other miscellaneous stuff that isn't junk, it's just like, all of it has a use for why it's there, other than one. Like, it's a wooden log. Not, it just has something inside of it, I haven't got put time for in water yet. And then my girlfriend gave me, I, I don't really care about it, you know, like, I want to open it eventually, I just, I don't care about it enough so that I remember to put it in water, but I do love the gift idea, I just haven't, I haven't seen what's inside of it, and I don't want to break it, I want to, like, do it, like, the legitimate way of just letting it be in water, and yeah, I mean, everything else on my desk has a practical use, it's either decoration, or as an electronic device, or it helps with both. Like my, uh, yeah. So, when I made that first video, my desk setup was like a normal desk. Like, think of an office desk before computers were like mainstream to have like an office space. And think of that type of desk. That's the desk I had at the time of making my channel in that first video. And to record my phone, I'm not sure if I, which one I did first, but either I just put my phone flat up against, like, because my desk has, like, it's all made of wood, and it's, I'm not sure who made it exactly. It's not that strong. Probably could break it if I wanted to. I'm not going to. I don't have enough desk. But they have to, some of the edges extend a little bit. Like, uh, it's definitely... Like, if, I don't know how long my middle finger is, but if I was to put my, my, uh, ring finger on top of it, my uh, middle finger reaching down can reach the top, the top of the desk surface. That's how tall it is, essentially. I'm not sure how long my middle finger is. That's like a inch and a half, two inches? I don't know. Yeah, I don't really care about that as much. So it has this little, like, upwards, like, it basically, like, 
the desk isn't like flat. It has a border around three of the sides. One side that doesn't have a border is the side where you know I have access to drawers and which is where you would be sitting. So yeah, it's really easy for me who is not that good with computers. So I, so long as I'm careful about the where the front of the PC is. So long as like as long as it doesn't like pushed over hard, it won't fall off of the computer with like a simple like small earthquake. Unless it like the earthquake shapes like toward the one back wall and the non existent wall which falls up that way. But you know, I'm hoping that it doesn't. But yeah, I didn't have any of the setup. All I had when I started off making these videos was my phone. And a Nintendo Switch that I already had at that point for a couple of years that definitely was not, you know, able to be making content on. At the time, I had no capture card. In fact, back then, I didn't know how a capture card worked. And I have this little side tangent. A lot of people at school, when I told them about my channel making like better content, they were also telling me, get a capture card, get a capture card. I know no capture cards need a PC. If I had just told them I don't have a PC, they probably wouldn't have told. They probably would have told me instead of getting a capture card, get a PC. Because a capture card does not just take in information. What it does is it lets it takes the game data and puts it to a monitor to like record. And if you'd like to, if you have a second monitor, you can make it have the entire screen just what you want for it. So that way you can have one thing on your streaming setup and have a second monitor where you can see the game better. And if you have three monitors, like you have three monitors, you can use one for like Discord or other stuff. I don't know what you'd use it for. But essentially that's what you could do with a thing. I thought at the time that capture cards, which is like you plug it into your device and then it records and stores the information it sees from the game and stores it so you can use it later. That is not how it works at all. Anyway, side tangent aside, uh, yeah, I just had like normal desk stuff. I have my I have three drawers, two small ones, one the middle one has like some books and like that I can write stuff on. The top drawer is like technical stuff, like wires, and I think Somewhere in there, there's like a zoomed in, like, think of it like a phone magnifying glass that can connect with Bluetooth and allows you essentially just to, I don't know, use your phone as like a, I don't know, a monitor. Yeah, my plan with it originally, the reason why I have it up here, is because I want to find a cheap secondary monitor to record my games on. Or like something, because my desk, once again, is very limited on space because of the extra excluded edges. If they weren't here, I might be able to fit two monitors, but one would definitely be a lot slanted. I'd have to look up for very much, and one monitor would be like the center of where my monitor is now would be like I had to turn my head more towards the corner of my room to see the center of it. And plus, I'd have no room to put my Nintendo Switch, which that isn't just mine, it's, the, it's a family Nintendo Switch. Even though really just my brothers and me use it. So, yeah, not much there. Uh, I will say, it's definitely weird having, like, you know, seeing, like, stuff on my desk that's not supposed to be there. Like, I don't usually see my Nintendo Switch thing not in the center, in the time, like, actually doing something at my desk. Because like, what I did before, like, my first ever upload on this channel that was a gaming video, which was uploaded like almost a year after I made my channel. Because like, there was a whole like section of school stuff and like other stuff that I'm going to get into later. And this place outside. We're next to a uh, country road, so people speed a lot to this part of those places. Anyways, uh, so there was like a, like a seven, six, or eight month period between my last upload, which at the time, which 
currently is my third upload ever and my fourth upload ever my first ever gaming video yeah I feel like everybody should like do anything that they can to make a platform for themselves I got 400 subscribers without getting a monitor for a PC 400 that's insane like you can literally take a Nintendo Switch use it kickstand doesn't matter if you have OLED or not if you don't have OLED I recommend buying like a third party chalk like dock that has it slanted slightly and or just recording your TV screen if you can't do that and then make sure you have a microphone to connect to your phone to you know let you hear stuff because trust me there wasn't if there was an audience for people who like just watch my content I feel like about half of them are active people who like still use YouTube but just don't watch me I feel like a quarter of those active people actively watch my videos and actually enjoy them of my 400 that might be like closing it down to like 20 or 30 people who actively like my videos and are subscribed and until recently like before summer like I have one other upload on this channel that was made on my PC besides this one not counting live streams not counting shorts one upload on this entire channel is on my PC the rest of my videos going back to that you know April video that I made like my fourth video ever it all of that got me like 400 subscribers and what, like I have other stuff like music and whatnot that I also get views from the podcast honestly I'm not sure why I'm doing this it's like I haven't uploaded on this in a while and also it's like I don't want to just make a video and have a face cam doing it so like I might as well just put it into the podcast thing and like I still don't have a face cam recording me like now I have my phone tripod stand up because I was like yeah so my th three year anniversary which I'm recording this the day before is really, is really weird I forgot year, year one I had like no audience so our year celebration wasn't really that big and probably nobody would have even seen it if I didn't make anything special for it so I'm not upset I didn't do it for one year but I definitely could have done more you know during that eight month nine month period that I didn't make videos for one reason or another I don't know why probably because I was like I need a capture card or, like it, it was stupid now I'm looking back on it and I'll get into why like I didn't like even if I could make video if I found out how to make videos from like you know that period of time I would at some point I wouldn't have wanted to make videos for a little while which I'll get into that specific scenario later and also another situation where I will be very vulnerable in that part but oh, are you kidding me another we don't usually get this many cops I barely hear a cop siren ever in my house anyways back on track so what happened after I uploaded my first video is I went to school and told everybody to go watch it, and then that got a few views and I like. But that's actually not what happened. No, I'm remembering it. What happened is the day I the day I recorded that it was like nighttime, like you know if you could see in the background or hear in the background, my brothers were getting ready for bed. I had to get ready for bed, so. The video, uh, it definitely could have been a lot worse, but that night I got sick, so I couldn't do anything that morning. Like I couldn't go to school and tell my, because my friends, I don't, I'm not the type of person who's just like, hey, here's my number, just because now we're like on good terms. Like I want to be very careful of who I'm actually friends with and who has my number like of all the people at school that has the number I have two contacts one who's blocked and I'll talk about them later 
and one other person who has never once texted me. They have my number, they've never texted me. But they, you know, they had a proposition of maybe becoming a video editor. So it's just at the time I was editing my video on my videos. Like this was like last year of school when I was like a sophomore. And I was in gym class and they were like it's been almost a year since I basically like seven, eight months since I've seen them last in like a classroom. So I'm not understanding exactly why there's nothing there specifically. But I will uh, say, uh, yeah, I'm not the type of person to just give people I know my phone number to you know keep in contact. I have very few contacts I keep in touch with a lot. So, yeah. Now, I do have something that, you know, might be a little bit of a surprise to everybody, you know, listening to this. But I do not know what I'm going to go like, do forward for the next little bit. My plan, if you haven't heard me talk about it on stream, is I'm going to wait for my school schedule, because I put that multimedia as a class I want to be in. If that class ends up being in like the second part of the year, I'm going to learn video editing online, like immediately, and I'll try and upload like a video. Like even if it's like, if it's like supposed to be like part of a series, I'm just going to upload something, you know, edited. I have a rule where... I like to edit stuff on my channel now, which, you know, the past few uploads I made are not edited as well, but, you know, I don't, I don't know how to edit on a computer, because what I did to edit, like, previously, was I used iMovie, which is Apple exclusive, I'm on a Windows computer, but I also used Canva, which, unless I use my school account to edit videos, I can't do that sustainably, and if I was to like, use my school account over the summer and edit videos that way, the second I was dropped out of school, my school account and everything connected to it would be deleted, so I'd have to buy a new Canva account in order to edit, and I don't want that because it's not sustainable. Because if I don't make money until, like, my, if I refuse to make any money from now until I graduate school, I will never, ever be able to afford a Canva account every single time. Like, you know, I have like some money that I made from mowing the past few years. Maybe I will really like at least like not lose money, but I really don't feel like a new Canva account just to edit videos is like good considering. Then when I watch my content and I'm spending money on, you know, an editing software, then I kind of have to use it. But also, if my videos that I used to edit don't get views, and I don't get money, then it's a lost profit because I'm spending money on something that's not making me money back. This isn't just like one of those like alpha male things. It's like it's a legitimate thought I've had. So like I'm trying to find something free that I can make better, that isn't just like you know, some of it's mostly a photo editing software that can you know have like short clips. I use Canva to edit almost a three-hour video, and then was told by Canva, hey, uh, we're, at, uh, we're just telling you now, even though you've already done it, like, far past this point, uh, we can only have videos, up, like, finished product of videos, up to an hour. So you have to, like, select some certain, like, videos to make out. Even then, there was, like, an uploading error. I'm not sure what it was. But anyways, I have all those, like, little, like, videos edited, except one does not have a title, and it's not edited. Once I add a title to all of them, and edit that one video all the way up, and then like put them all together, and intro and outro, upload to YouTube with thumbnail and whatnot, that'll be all good. But all the editing software that I wanted would not be able to handle it, like even like a basic one, so good like, maybe edit for like a 3 minute, like edit a 3 minute video. Like Adobe, uh, you know, Express, I think. I don't know what it was. It's video editing software. Not that's not Adobe Premiere Pro, Premiere Rush, I think it is. 
they do not have, you know, like, there's no, I'm not sure exactly, but I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty sure that the input length, like, if I was to try and, like, do, like, two videos on a completely free web, like, a free editing software versus it, the free website would be, like, able to hold my, like, long video, which is basically, like, an entire, like, two years of, like, work compiled into a YouTube video. And I'm only doing that for a second video that I have yet to even start. So yeah, my school uh, schedule is going to determine on how fast you get videos uploaded. Because I'd like to at least know the basics of how to edit on any software and then use, you know, other stuff to my advantage therefore after. Now, what else to talk about? Oh yeah, I had my second upload, I th second or third upload ever I made. Not sure which one it is. I don't have a thing pulled up. I just pulled up the screen recorder position to the thing where I wanted it to be. So I'm not exactly sure where this is going to go. But my third or second video ever, I talked about my YouTube history. It wasn't just my, my history on the channel. It was my history of like beforehand. So to give you a rundown, it was basically like, I only watched Netflix and played video games, then Pokemon became a big part of my life, and I watched the creator named Zebra Gamer, Eva Pokemon Quest, bad game, but it was fun at the time, because I was like, what, under 13 at that time? Yeah, under 13. So I just watched that all the time, didn't watch his Ultra Sun playthrough over time when it came out, disappointed that he did not finish it, I really wanted to finish it see the end. But anyways, I really, really just like saw that opportunity as like a, hey, I could do this. This could be fun. And I never took action on it for like seven more years after that until I made my channel. And then six days later, I uploaded my first video. Yeah. I uh, don't know exactly what I was thinking with that, because like, realistically, at the time I could have just like, if I had had a phone and a tripod at that point, and I knew how to make a channel, I could have easily, the day I wanted to become a YouTuber, I could have just be, like started that day, and this could be like, my six year anniversary or seven year anniversary of being on the platform. But since, you know, it's not, and I never started until I was like, you know what? It's gonna be too late in a few years with all the other people. I would like to start now. And I started in the middle of, you know, summer. Like, yeah. So, that's one thing. Now, let's get into the two reasons of why I wasn't uploading at a certain point. If I didn't mention it like any other previous bit, I don't, I don't know exactly know why I didn't mention it. But there was a six, once again, six to nine month gap. I'm not sure exactly how long it is. From August 6th to maybe it's 10 months. I'm not sure. August 6th to April 5th, or well, sometime in August to May or April, I didn't upload for that period of time. During that time, I completed the very first, like, Professor Oak's Minecraft world, which is a challenge I'm doing where I'm just trying to get all the achievements in Minecraft before starting. I have two videos planned. One video, which I've talked about, editing it all on Canva, which is all the videos up to the point where I wanted to do a hundred days playthrough because I, my plan was make this video so that people who want to know the context of the world before watching hundred days of just getting more like progress in the world can like watch it in the background people who like hundred days can watch that but either way I was focusing one of them or one or the other to be successful and then, therefore, the other one would be successful because I would be there for upload it soon after. Yeah, you're probably gonna have to wait another year for 
a half a year or a year just to get both those videos out. Depending on how fast I learn how to edit videos. If I learn editing like within the first part of school, I might learn editing and like be editing at home as a practice and get those videos done like very fast. Well if I don't know it, I'll probably just edit as many videos as I can and when I'm not working on a video editing. I'm just going to focus on that big 100 days project that I have. But yeah. I'm going to take a drink of water. Give me one second. Okay. So there was a point, like I didn't upload for eight months, six months, whatever. That point in my life was also just like school related stuff. And I will tell you one thing that happened in there that I've talked about a couple of times, but I haven't gone too in depth. So there's this, I had an ex at one point. I wasn't necessarily attracted to, but they also weren't like terribly ugly. And, you know, I mentioned one day, I'm not sure if it was to her specifically or just a friend nearby and she overheard that. But then at some point before, you know, social studies at the time started, she asked me, hey, you want to, you know, you know, do, do the dating thing? It was like not a lot of things. It wasn't like, you know, no strings attached, just like date. I was skeptical, so I took the entire class period to think about it. Very distracted, I should have not been at, at that time. I eventually decided to say yes. Which, if I could go back and change one thing about my life specifically, I would go there and I would slap myself and say, you should say no to her and never think about her ever again. Because... What happened was, we had like this little point where we're doing like, what's essentially the finals of junior high. And, you know, one of her friends, I, you know, I like to annoy, mostly because she's annoying. So, it's taken for her medicine. But at the point where, there was a point where she, my ex, said, if you don't leave her alone... We're done through. And honestly, once again, if I couldn't change that first part about not hitting her, I would just go back in time and tell myself, hey, continue annoying her. Don't care about the breakup. Because what this next part is going to be really confusing to all of you guys, which was how I felt at that time. So that we had like one half day. How did it all? Every Wednesday across the entire school district. And there was one Wednesday where, you know, we were just outside, we were hanging out. I was in a group with some of her friends and, you know, joining along with them. Then we went inside because we were just outside. And I was bored because, you know, we were just sitting in there for the school day to end. So what I did was I laid on the, on the gym floor. Not, you know, good because it's sturdy and whatnot. I just laid down there. My ex decided to lay down with me, but since we were in the middle of the gym, not on the side, in the corner, the corner everybody saw it. And I'm not sure if it was because she was too embarrassed or she got too much attention, but at one point, I'm not sure how long it was, but she was laying down next to me. At some point, she just went back to sitting with her friends. I didn't mind, I kept on laying down. Eventually, just use my backpack as a prop up to you know play video games, but not on oh no, my tiny little, definitely not legal, uh, emulator, Nintendo Switch, but sort of it. Like, gee, I'm not gonna go into it this video, but you know, then I remember this exactly nine days later. 
And I just have to see what the actual offense was. I think he was talking to another person. And I basically told him to, you know, go off because I, she's already taken. Then she told me that she had broken up with me like two or three months. I'm not sure exactly which. Maybe four months. Two to four months ago. When literally a week and two days ago, she had laid on the gym floor next to me. Which, if somebody, if if anybody had broken up with, if you had broken, if you had like an ex, and they were laying next to you, and at the time not your ex, but currently are your ex, if they were laying next to you in public, well, you're already laying down. And then was to tell you nine days later that they broken up with you years ago. That's as insane as this was. Because at the time, I didn't even try to call her out on that BS. Which is like, bruh, I don't understand. I was, just, I was just so confused. I didn't understand what the heck was happening. And if, once again, if I could not change, you know, the history of my events, I would have at least, for my future self, to call her out on that illogic, you know, reason to just end the relationship secretly, but not so secretly. To this day, I hate her so much that I'm not just calling her my ex because of, you know, she's not doesn't want to be on this. I call her that because... I hate her so much, I don't like to say her name. Like, if I ever talk to her, like, in a conversation ever again, I will only refer to her as my ex. Like, if she was just be like, hey, how are you doing? I'd be like, oh, I'm doing good, my ex. Like, that is how serious I am about not even calling her by her name. And I made an entire song called I'm Moving On, just, just to get some closure. I have gone for the most part. Aside from talking about it in specific situations that I don't have to, but I'm choosing to, those are the only times that I, you know, my closure's ended. But like, other than that, I have closure. You know, I don't really care that much anymore. I got a, a great girlfriend. She loves me, I love her. We're doing great. And at that point, not necessarily, like, the con not necessarily connected, but I was also going to, like, a, uh, you know, my phone was often taken away, because, you know, I was always on my phone in class, you know, on my iPad, because, like, at home, we had, like, a strict, like, electronic policy, where, like, we only had, like, a certain amount of screen time, but that screen time was also, like, translated into every website. So if I used my phone for five hours... But it literally was just turned on somehow, without low power mode on, being charged indefinitely, and was just turned on the entire night, the like, entire time. You, I would lose electronic time because, like, it was a flat five hours or at a specific time where it just doesn't work. So it actually encouraged me to use my iPad, which is given out to me by the school, more in class than at home. Because I like to, because my phone doesn't have restrictions on what I can watch on YouTube, when my iPad does, even though those restrictions are not like exclusive to you know videos that are set to you know restricted mode, where you can only watch you know if your if your YouTube account is set to a certain age. My account was set to my age at the time on both of my accounts. I could watch more videos on my phone than I could my iPad. Because I don't know why the school system is so like they specifically are out for like the actual like fun that they don't like being told. I'm not sure what the policies on is. Anyways, my phone was also being taken away, and how I and that was mostly just because of the tension because I was using my iPad and or phone in you know school. And eventually I got to a point where one of the phrases that I intended to tell my parents at one point or another was, give me my electronics back, give me my phone back, 
or I will off my life. And, like I even had a whole like plan, so, like if I couldn't like just use a knife or whatever. Like it's insane. Like I had a plan where if I couldn't you know get a knife or whatnot, I would jump off of the top of the uh, church. You know that's not that that's not too far away from where I live. And like if that didn't come, I would just do it more and more and more and more until it actually did. Which, you know, considering I was threatened with losing my electronics for a half of a year, when my life was already, like, at that time, like, so invested with it, that, like, all I had to do was remove the total time usage off, like, say, from, like, my phone currently is, like, from this time to this time, you can use your phone, and from this time to this time, which are the exact same times, but, you know, they're flipped. You can't use your phone. If that was just implemented from the start, I would not have probably gotten that many detentions and would never have had this. Now, this ties into the next thing I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to take a drink of water first, because this is going to be long. So this next part goes into a little part. If you were to watch some of my earlier videos, you might encounter some of the videos that, you know, in the edits, say that there's an editor named Rai, R-Y-E, I'm pretty sure is what I mean it as. The editor is not real. They are not a real person. I remember specifically creating that character to connect to the audience that I did not think I could connect with. I essentially made her a polar opposite to me, as I from one thing that nobody would have known at that time, but that one thing that nobody would know that it's not a polar opposite of me, was that both of the, the character Rai and me were both suicidal at one point or another. Well, instead of me getting like proper therapy and just like Putting it aside for just getting more electronic time back. Uh, she just went to therapy and I just got my electronic time back, but lessened definitely a lot more. But definitely, like, to a point where, like, I could still lose electronic time, but it won't be for, like, as long. You know? And I haven't got that severe like, punishment in electronic time in a while. I made Rai as a polar opposite, specifically like it's like it's kind of like a Markiplier Lixian situation. I wanted the editor to be a relatable character that people could relate to, that I didn't think I could relate to. That was my plan with creating the character Rai. If I did actually get uh, like an editor in the form of like well, what Lixian is to Markiplier, I would like make them like not necessarily say. That, like, you know, you have to be this person, like, in real life. But, like, definitely, like, if you're editing, your secret identity is going to be Rai. And, you know, you don't have to, like, have the same personality in the videos as, you know, I made the character back way back when. But, like, the editing process, like, just needs to, like, feel like, you know, a girl is editing this, but also is, like, working for you know, a guy, so there's not like flowers everywhere, but yeah, I created specifically the character Rai to basically just be a relatable person that the audience I didn't think I connect with could connect with, so it would be like, I could feel like all sorts of like spectrums to get more audience. I did not end up working because I had to find out, like multiple reasons why like you know why I couldn't do stuff for me over a certain time. Like I even have like a second account. It's not connected to my main one at all. Rye the editor is a YouTube channel. I made that channel 
just to make it seem as if it was like a real person. And like for a while, my uh, YouTube page, like the about section before, was like James being a little weirder. My about tab had her channel as like you know in the thing, even though at the time I remember that doing that wasn't anything. Now, it's also like, if you look into like the lines, and like, if you, let's just say, let's just say that I did not tell anybody that Rye was fake. I feel like, eventually, somebody would connect the lines to find out that Rye is not actually a real person. And that Rai is a, some, is not real, or that they knew why, like, fake the identity of Rai. Somebody would eventually find out that Rai is fake. Or I would at one point just like make a mistake in saying something, not realize it, and then that just blows open the entire story of like, you know, Rai is a real person. So at one point I was like, you know what? I don't want to lie to my audience like this. Let's just stop using Rai over time. Until so like there was one video where like, I wanted to upload the video, like, was a short, but it's like, I used Eminem, one of Eminem's songs, in like a short, because, like, I sped up the video in, like, one of my Minecraft videos. It was just building up the height limit with the wob bubble I mean made. So I had to, you know, make that speed up, because I didn't just want to cut it out of the video. Probably should have cut it out of the video at this point, but I had a funny idea to just make that video, like, not synced up, but, like, play you along in the like I'm not exactly sure what it was, for sure it's one of Eminem's songs with one of the faster ones, I think it's more popular. I don't know exactly which one it is. But it was cop but I scheduled it and it was immediately copyright struck before the video even went out. Like I didn't take it like lose a strike on my channel or whatnot. At least I'm posted. And if it was like one of my three strikes you're out kind of situation. If I did take away one of them, I would have said the video was never uploaded. So we have no problem here. That would be my, my defense. But other than that, uh, yeah. So I had Rai upload that video onto her channel because my plan is to eventually have, like, I want, like, something. I want, there's a channel called uh, Nick Straco that I also own. I'm not sure if it's Nick's Rail Straco or just Nick Straco. Uh, yeah, I made that channel to promote Fish's family because Nick is the daughter of Mrs. and Mr. Draco and is, has a line in the song telling the parents that Nick, that your daughter Nick is doing fine. But, you know. I just don't understand really why I haven't used that channel for anything. If I wanted to use it at all, I, you know, the whole point of the ch thing was just like, hey, one of Pokemon is taken to the real world, at least with like a YouTube account, and it's commenting, and like, I'm tr I tried to play it off as just like, if this like video, if like this gets out to Nintendo, you're gonna like be hunted down in the cyber world, or whatnot. It was like a stupid bit. But, uh, you know, I liked it, I guess. But the real kicker... Oh. Was definitely... Uh, I had a second channel. It's now banned. Called Creeper Bossman. I just wanted to see how successful... Like, uh, I seen a lot at the time, there was like a lot of people who were just... Spamming the same video loop over and over and over again. I want to see how successful that was. I was gonna make a video on it, but then before I, like, at some point, not sure when exactly, uh, it got removed because YouTube like found out of this thing, which means I'm not really upset about it. Like I did was I was gonna plan on deleting the video afterwards after I made you know the one video talking about it and just like delete it, but at the time. Creeper Bossman surpassed my main channel in subscribers before it was taken down. 
Like, if it was still up to date and just inactive completely, yeah, I would be... Currently, I'd be in, in subscribers, because it didn't get more than, like, a few hundred, I think. I could use the Wayback Machine. I'm not exactly sure when it was. But, like, the account's banned on YouTube. Uh, I don't know how to delete channels. But that the account that made Trooper Bossman's channel is uh, my business email. But it doesn't really matter. My business email is just, my business email is just in my about section. So it doesn't really matter that it can't really be used as often. Now, let's talk about all the main things. Let's get off to some other things. Here are some of my plans. If you haven't seen my community post, here are the five things I'm going to be doing. I'm not looking at I'm just remembering. There is I will leave a link in the description to a to my Discord. The Discord will have a uh, text channel called Raffle. You put a number one to four hundred and six, the kind of number of subscribers I have. And if you get that exact number within the next week, you can only submit once. Then you can be in my video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it like whoever's closest to the number. If nobody gets the exact number, will be in the video. I haven't decided on that because like I don't really gotta worry about that until somebody actually like gets close to it. So like if somebody's within like 30 or something of it, then I'll just be like, you know what? Maybe we'll include like at that point we'll include like. If nobody gets the number, who's ever closest gets is it? Because like I'm not doing math to find out like where the number is gonna be. Also, the number is already generated, and yeah, so I can't rig it anymore. I'm not going to rig it. I'm not sure what the number is. So yeah, I also am gonna try. For the next month, daily Instagram picture uploads. Hopefully, if I miss one day, I'm in the world. But I'm mostly just gonna try and like, you know, post fun things in there. I'm not making a song. I'm not gonna do that for this year. Maybe I'll do it for four year anniversary. Because I've the day I'm recording this is also the day I realized I have an anniversary in Rano. Well, my words are slowing. Let me uh, drink some water really quickly to finish up the video. So, yeah. The goal of, like... Okay, what else was I going to do? Um... Yeah, I was going to stream Minecraft. On the very first seed I recorded for the, you know, because like for my Professor Oxcon's world, it's mostly just to see what has changed. If like I made the world today, what changed? I'm not gonna make like a comparison video to like see what's changed or whatnot, but I'm definitely gonna look like and see what it is and go through that. I, uh, what else? I'm actually going to pull up my uh, YouTube channel right now. Okay. Uh, celebrating with Minecraft seeds. Okay, the third thing on the list, the second thing was the this podcast episode that you were listening to. It, on the th of the three, uh, the, the only one I haven't talked about is I will over the next like week or two months, I will be making three banner patterns, like not patterns, banners. Because like every channel has like a pattern. I think that panel pa banner panel channel banner. Wrong thing. I've had that same channel banner for the longest time, and I think it needs to. It's still gonna have the same quote, 
just you guys get to decide what it is now. So I'm, you know, think of some ideas to maybe do it. And uh, yeah. So those are the plans, you know, for the three year anniversary. But outside of that, I uh, don't know what else I'm gonna do. My initial plan is just see how the thing goes. I'm going to reveal the winner the day after the uh, event wins for the raffle. I will then decide if I do closest or not. It was like, wait, wait, wait. you get within 30. Uh, if you get within 30 of the things, then I will like make it whoever's closest will then become like put new features on my channel. But like. Nobody's within 30. I'm just gonna make it, you know, nobody's gonna be allowed. To... So basically, you're trying to get within 30 numbers of whatever the number is. I will not say if it's like, if it's like maximum of 30. Like, you know, say that the number is like, I don't know, 42, which is not the number. If, I don't think I was listening at this point. If the number was 42. It's a 61 area that you have to get. If you get the 61 of the 60, which is 42 in this instance, you would get to be in it. It, so assuming you're the closest, or you get the exact number. But if it was like seven, then you would have to get one through six, or eight to 38. But I won't say whether or not that is, you know, if that's like clickable, I'm saying within 30 of each direction before going to negatives or going above of, you know, not counting zero and not counting any numbers above 406, then uh, yeah, you can win that. But I will uh, say uh, anybody can win. But if you say something that you can't normally say on videos that you think will get me cancelled, uh, jokes on you. I'm not actually going to, uh, you know, get cancelled because of what you say. Because I don't, probably don't know you. You probably could just be like a nice person, but you just want me cancelled. That's on you. If you're cancelled, I'm not gonna be cancelled from what you say because I'm not saying them. And if you claim I say something. Then uh, I'll take you to court when I can, because I can't legally sue somebody until I turn 18. But uh, yeah. So thanks for watching the fourth episode of Don't Take This As Fact. I really hope you enjoyed listening to me talk for about 52 minutes. And I will hopefully see you at the live stream later today, where I will go into that Minecraft world that I first uploaded to my channel. Almost, you know two and a half years ago, I think. At least two years ago. Thanks for watching. Well, listening, I guess.